right, so after a few hours of a broke air drill with a little bitty wire brush tip, finally got it all scrubbed down. And you can tell most of this rust is, most of it's like a, almost a black, there's a little bit of staining in it. Uh, got a little shine to it from the wheel, but that's bad stain there, but got the solution here. I'm just gonna spray this all over it. This is a, uh, it's four parts to one on the mix and spraying it on pretty heavy. I'm gonna let it sit for a while, but it's vinegar and water. So I'm just gonna soak this whole thing down, vinegar and water spray, again, four to one mix and let it sit on this rust. What it'll do is it's gonna kill the rust. I'll come back a little while give it a couple hours to sit i'll come back and spray it again in about an hour but let it sit for a few hours and then come back and hit it with some rust reformer wipe it down and hit it with rust reformer but you should see this uh a lot of this staining turn real dark in color but i like to apply it real heavy We'll put the rust reformer on it. It'll turn it all black, oxidize it or whatever it does. And we'll be able to paint over it or seal over it and kill all the rust. All right, so just 10 minutes in, you can already see the vinegar activating. It's just a little chemical reaction. So I'll just let this set and do what it's going to do. All right, this is after about an hour and a half. See a lot of the rust turning black. Everything else turned rusty looking. All right, so I decided to spray it again last night and just let it sit overnight. It's pretty wild. All the, the real deep red was bare metal which all of that'll come off. But if you look, the rust is all black. You know, and everything's kind of gummy. A lot of that red discoloration is probably from the water, I'm guessing. But all the rust is, the old rust is black. So, you know, and I got drips everywhere, but that ain't no big deal. Spray a little bit on the side <laughs> just to let it kill, but yeah. So this is where we are. I'm gonna throw a little more spray on it and I'll clean it off here in just a little while and seal it up. All right, so now if you look up close, you can see how all the all that vinegar is reacting. We just got a little bucket of clean water, and green scotch right. And we're just gonna we're just gonna wash it off. Another major. Just clean water, scotch right. So this is everything after I dried it off. I just wiped it down real good with some paper towels. Then I actually hit it with a leaf blower. But you can look and see all the rust. Most of that is just stain. Uh, but most of it has turned pretty black. Then I'm gonna hit it with a, uh, a rust reformer. I ain't saying Rust-Oleum does a good job or anything like that. This is just what I had laying in the, the house. I'm gonna spray it all down with a Rust Reformer. And that should convert it over to a paintable surface.
course it's still wet and drying, but we have a sandable, paintable surface according to the can. Just so right here. Converts rust to a protected paintable surface. Uh, the stuff I usually get goes on clear and then it turns either purple or black. I like it better. Anyways, still got a long way to go, but thanks for watching.